show you how to create a world where reality collides with mind-bending technology. Ah, ah, ah. It's the ultimate virtual reality. One room where you can do anything and be anyone. Whoa. <laughs> I'm Dr. Michio Kaku. I'm a theoretical physicist and a science fiction fan. <laughs> Join me as I show you how to make sci-fi science. The holodeck is a work of fiction, but I believe that every spaceship should have one. Just imagine dialing up Pointy Island to escape the drudgery of a long-haul mission. But what would it take to create a virtual world that stimulates all the senses? My holodeck must perform three basic functions. First, the ability to create imaginary worlds that are thoroughly realistic. Two, the ability to interact with, touch, and feel objects in these virtual worlds. And three, the ability to create worlds that are limitless, without boundaries. My first challenge is to make my holodeck look convincing. So I'm heading to New Jersey to visit one of the most advanced virtual reality systems in the world, the cave. Some people believe that the cave is as close as we can come today to a real holodeck. Just like the holodeck, the cave is a virtual world that you step right into. Let me see. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you want to grab this thing, right? Whoa. Special glasses allow you to see the action in 3D. But this is no trip to the movies. I can hand you this controller, and you can fly around any way you'd like. Whoa. I'm really there, right? The cave is intelligent. It responds to your every command, creating a sensation of complete immersion. My virtual tour guide for the day is George Lee Cakes. This is the future of virtual reality, huh? This is, this is the way it's looking like it's going to go. Total is... immersion. Look at this. The cave at Rowan has four projected screens, each controlled by a separate computer. Um, Mike, would you mind uh, dialing in the dinosaur demo, please? A dinosaur demo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope I'm not going to be breakfast now. <laughs> like in the holodeck, no two cave adventures are ever the same. They unfold depending upon the decisions you make. Here comes the T-Rex right at us. And that feeling of being right in the action is down to perspective shift. Wow, look at that. As I move my head, everything around me moves. How's that? Well, it's actually the cameras that are all around you, eight of them exactly. Mm -hmm. And they're picking up on the little tracker on your glasses. Uh -huh. Now, it's emitting infrared light. Now, we can't see it, but the cameras can. So as you move, it's telling the cave how to move in response to you. Ah, so the cave knows exactly where my head is pointing. Perfectly. And that's why the screens change so much as you move. So how close can I get to the T-Rex? As close as you like. You can get in his mouth, actually. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> We're close. I can ah! see the teeth. Yeah. It's a surreal experience. But I can't help wondering what Captain Picard and Commander Riker from Star Trek would make of it. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh, my He's God, close. look at that. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Now that was really cool. Much better than those clunky helmets that you put on at those computer fairs and you work in virtual reality. I think this is a giant leap forward. But to be fair, I don't think Picard or Riker would be satisfied just yet. It still needs some more improvements. And I think I know where that may come from. <laughs>